Hi! I got a ponder point for you here. So we have been gifted a amazing, can you see? Say hi, Tobias. God brought this amazing um, dog to us um, that we have gotten the opportunity to get to love on and include in our family, huh, Tobias? He is a lover deluxe. But um, through the training process of having a puppy dog um, that is totally lovable, that came from an abuse situation, it's really speaking into my life and it's bringing out obviously life lessons or ponder points. So he's a big guy, he's a big dog and he's just a puppy. Um, so walking him is a little bit of a workout, which is, hey, I definitely can use that, especially after the last few months that we've had. Um, however, in the walking of him, um, I found that for me, we I used to have him on a retractable leash so we could go out further, but he wandered and pulled so hard that it just was not a beneficial thing. So in the travel to Kansas, um, we ended up getting out a leash that we have that is a shorter leash with a strong clip on it. And so that is what I've been using to walk him with. And I'm like, it, it makes it easier having on a shorter leash, being able to keep him closer to me. Um, when he pulls, it's easier for me to rein him back in. Um, it's easier for me to love on him and congratulate him when he does something good. Um, and it, it makes it easier for me to help correct when he needs um, some reinforcement or some correction. And I'm like, wow, how like that is our life? How like that is um, when, <laughs> sorry guys, when we are out walking and, and God, he doesn't really have us on a leash, but he keeps us we're attached to him through relationship. Um, we're attached to him. No matter what type of leash um, we have or are allowed to do, as we learn to know the master's voice and respond to and work in agreement with, then we're able to have a longer leash. We're able to go out and to do more because it's easier to stay on track. But how loving is it that our God cares enough to call us in, to put us on a short lease, to keep us close to him um, while we are going through a hard time or a change of season or a process, a challenge, that he's right there by us. And he's there to give us affirmations of, yes, you did a good job. And hey, you know, come back. We need to pull this back in. You're wandering off the track here. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to share that insight that sometimes when we're pulling on our leash and it feels like things are tight or choking us, maybe that's not a bad thing. Maybe it's a sign that we need to stop and look at what we're doing and see if we truly are in alignment with God's will and his timing. And are we on path? Are we going where we're supposed to go? Are we being reeled back in so that we can fully walk under the covering and reap the blessings and, and, and um, sow the fruit, um, produce the fruit that we are called and created to produce? So guys, I would love to hear your comments, your thoughts um, below. Uh, just as affirmation that, hey, <laughs> I'm not being crazy, even though I know I have a unique perspective. Um, and that I'm not the only one that is going through the leash training of having to be called, pulled closer to God um, so I don't run off and I don't run ahead. Um, so yeah, thank you guys. I appreciate every one of you. Um, feel free if you want to schedule a time of prayers or um, something with me, feel free. You can schedule at bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y forward slash S-T-G-A-P-P-T. That's for standing the gap appointment. And you can go and specifically choose the prayer session and book a time with me. I would adore. I love praying with you. I love coming alongside and supporting and lifting you up in the areas that you're growing. Be blessed.